following segment is sponsored by Ingalls, the Southern Table. If you shop for groceries at Ingalls Supermarkets, you'll love the savings and the quality and convenience. Ingalls also brings us the Southern Table. And in today's segment, some creative and fun ways to dress up your Easter eggs. Hey y'all, I'm Erin Barnett. And I'm Kelly Smith. Here in the South, the table is a symbol of family and friendship, a place to gather with the ones we love. And there's always a place for you, right here at the Southern Table, presented by Ingalls. It's almost time to start decorating Easter eggs, and we're showing you a little Southern flair, a fun inspiration and way to do it today. I know. We're creating silk tie Easter eggs and getting a jump start on the big holiday coming up. This has kind of become a tradition for you. Yeah, I kind of made it a girl's uh, day. And yes. You can do this with your family, but it's a lot of fun and they turn out beautiful. I know. So we had to share them with you. And you really just need a couple of simple items to get started. First of all, you need some rubber bands. You're going to need some vinegar to boil your eggs. And then the star of the show, 100% silk ties and that is so this. important just check the label inside the ties to make sure they're a hundred percent silk so that they will transfer onto the eggs. it's so fun because the wilder the pattern yes. the better and that's the fun in the treasure hunting exactly for these. and we were saying you can shop your husband's closet make sure you ask him first yes, don't go cutting up his ties don't do it but another great place to find these is your local thrift store you're helping out a great cause and you're creating beautiful yes. eggs that's where we found these actually all right so let's get to it because okay. this is a fun process Process it is. And really comes together beautifully. So quickly. So, first of all, we've just flipped the ties over. I've already done these for both of us. And you just cut up the back of the seam. There's a couple of stitches holding them together. We've done that. And then pull out your pull liner. Out. It comes out really easy, too. It really you does. Cut those out. Okay, next up, you're going to grab your egg. This is important as well. Okay. You want to use the front side of the tie, mm -hmm. the beautiful side of the tie is the side that's going to go on the eggshell. On the okay. eggshell. So get your tie ready. Mm -hmm. Are we ready? I'm ready. Let's I'm, do it. It's been a whole year since we've done this. <laughs> I know, and it's okay. so exciting. So you're just going to basically wrap your egg. And get it tight as you can. As that's tight where as the rubber you bands can. are going to come yes, in handy. Because you want that pattern all the way around the egg. I like to actually wrap mine on the back side of the egg so I can lay them flat. Gotcha. That way, if it doesn't turn out perfect on that back side, you've got a beautiful side. And if too. mine doesn't turn out perfect, it's just another year of fun for exactly. us. Exactly. <laughs> so just wrap that one little okay. area, and then you're going to cut. Oh, I went a little too far then. The remainder. See, that's okay. okay. And that's about what it's going to look like right there. Yeah. You're going to drop all your beautiful eggs into boiling water with a fourth a cup of vinegar. Leave them for about 20 minutes. Take them out to let them cool. Ready. Here you can see some of our finished eggs. They turn out so beautifully. You get to see the patterns, the Aren't colors. They fun? Look so here we I go. Love so it. pretty. There they are. And remember, there's always a place for you at the Southern Table. Presented by Ingalls. We'll see you next time.